Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today I wanted to talk about pierce damage weapons and why I prefer to use them on pure physical build setups. Pierce damage weapons are some of the best in the game just simply because they get the added bonus of counter attack damage. Anytime you're swinging with any of your weapons, you're going to notice that your pierce absorption on the right right there is going to go down during the attack frames. So during my attack frames, my pierce absorption actually drops to 16, so I already take quite a lot more damage during any of my attack frames of my weapon. Now anyone wanting to optimize their pierce damage build should be using the spear talisman because on top of the fact that you already get lower pierce damage during your attack frames, the spear talisman increases that counter attack damage by 15%. Now it's at this point that the difference between the physical and the elemental damage comes in. Counterattack damage only boosts the physical part of your weapon's damage. So if you're running your claymore, you land the heavy attack during your opponent's attack animations when their pierce damage is low, and you're wearing the spear talisman. All of those are going to enhance the physical damage of your weapon, and since it's a heavy claymore, it only has physical damage, so that multiplier is applied to the entire damage of your claymore. Now if you have your elemental claymore and the same situation arises, it seems like this should do more damage, right, because you have 762 AR compared to the 683. But because the physical damage is the only thing enhanced during the counterattack frames and boosted by the Spear Talisman, you lose out on a lot of damage. Your Claymore's physical damage output is really only 382. So you're only enhancing that compared to the 683 damage you're enhancing from the Heavy Infused Claymore. So my general rule is, if my weapon has pierce damage, I usually run it physical. If not, I'm fine to go with fire or frostbite for the weapon setup. The talisman setup can also help this a lot. There are a lot of pierce damage type ashes of war. My claymore, I tend to use both the piercing fang and impaling thrust. These are both pierce damage attacks. They're really good mix-ups for the claymore as well. I also love to run the bulgo talisman. It just makes trading a lot easier. I can reach the poise breakpoints where I can hyper armor trade with my claymore. This makes my pierce damage much more effective. And my final talisman is usually the Urtree Favor, although you can swap it to the Great Jar Arsenal if you want to use some of the heavier setups. I can't actually use my Great Sword with this setup unless I use the Great Jar's Arsenal. It's too heavy for my endurance. But that's everything that I really have to say about Pierce Damage. I hope you guys enjoy the invasions. Oh? Supreme King Kai. Interesting. I recently rewatched Dragon Ball Z, so it's kind of funny. Oh boy! Bull Goat Supreme over there. Hey guys. Hey, let me just launch myself in here. Going back down. <laughs> I love elevator wars. They're so fun. <laughs> backstab. Oh, I wish. Sometimes when you land the jump, you can't backstab right away. So we got a shield. Hmm, maybe I should get a claymore with some uh, kicks. Hello. Ooh. 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 You didn't use the shield once. I'm really surprised. I'm so happy with the sending the elevator down trick. <laughs> he rolled right off. Amazing. Dragon rider, huh? Near the lava or actually in the manor area? Something's doing damage to him. That looks like... Maybe the lava, actually. That's such little damage. Oh my god. Phantom? Hello? Hello, Phantom. How are you? You look like you might want to parry me. I don't know how I feel about that. Whoa. 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 Higher latency. Okay, noted. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Now, if they were getting hurt by lava, I'm going to assume they're over there. I could have sworn I'd just seen them in that doorway. Hey, guys. How are you? Just sne Oh! <laughs> Hello there! I did not see you, Rook. That's sneaky, man. Very sneaky. Whoa. <laughs> that was an interesting little setup. You could have ambushed me very hard there. Our dragon rider. Explosion? Explosion! You're out of juice. Uh, it still made the explosion. I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> Why did I not see the animation of the first part of the ash? That totally could have destroyed me. Ah, uh, yes. Milk Lake. Okay, so what do we have here? Bloodhound Fang? Definitely Bloodhound Fang. And... I'll probably take that trade, because I have the bubble. Oh boy, that's not a fun trade, though. Oh, latency high enough that I can dodge roll through. Wow, you went off my camera. <laughs> I did not see you, Sneaky. <laughs> so we got lightning. That is a good call in the water. 
Definitely a good call. Ooh, bonk. Not the pest threads. What a pest. Literally. <laughs> I see you sneaking around. Oh, wait, that's actually a different knight. I'm gonna wait for this uh, debuff to wear off. Hang on, guys. I got you back here. Well, sort of. Unfortunately, they have some long range, but I too can dabble. Toe shot! How's it going, man? Whoa. Bonk. Skewered. <laughs> hey, man. Whoa. This is where you're going to roll back to. You didn't even roll back to your teammate. You just face traded. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right, now it's just me and you, dragon. I dodge all dragon breath. <laughs> By running slightly to the left. Now, what shall we do? Pori Pori. What is your build here? You have a curved sword. Oh, very high latency. That's okay. You can make do with that. Interesting choice. Oh my god. Whoa! 300 HP. I just seen that. That's hilarious. It would have been high anyways because we had the Spear Talisman on for the trade, but yeah, he just did not level his HP at all. Lanedale, but would you look at this spawn? <laughs> On a branch just above nothing. Amazing. I definitely am seeing someone who enjoys hiding as a prop hunt. I'm definitely going to play prop hunt here. Aw, they gave up. <laughs> Whoa, that's quite the... Ooh. <laughs> that's quite the build there, man. Your teammate is definitely hidden somewhere over there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's a team of three. Hey, man. Double spears? Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting. So how many are in here? Got him. Hey, man. Fireball, maybe? Fireball jutsu? He just wants to be the distraction. Whee! Hey, guys. Been else does pierce damage? An arrow to the head. <laughs> that was the toe, though. I will admit. Hey, man. Whoa. 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 I went down. <laughs> A medley of pokes for you. Let's keep this going, keep our strength high. And probably I'll trade the spear guy, actually. Oh, did you guys jump over here? You're escaping! Where is your teammate, though? Wait. Ada. Where'd the dual spear guy go? Oh, there he is. I don't even want to fight you. I want him. Whoa, whoa. There he goes. Hey, a backstab attempt. Man. <laughs> oh, Counterattack damage does so much. A thousand on an R2 is pretty crazy, honestly. I wonder, does this roll catch from the crouch poke? I know it does from the R2. Oh, that was some weird packet loss. Some Goku abilities there. I want you to heal. Heal for me. Thank you. I know it roll catches from this, though. <laughs> Which is pretty convenient. Both the Piercing Fang and Impaling Thrust are good at different uh, setups for roll catch. I like to keep both. Lanedale is just such a good map, honestly. I hope we get more castle area like this in the DLC. Oh my god. Is that dual colossals? Hey boys, how's it going? Give me some good defense here. I need to survive. Please tell me you're not the host. Why does the host always find me first? It's like we're linked together, I swear. Oh, I bubbled the knight. How's it feel? Guys, no, no, no. Don't run from me, I swear. It's a good time if you don't run from me. Hey, boys. Whoa. Off you go! Maybe? Did I get a kill there? I'm becoming quite the archer. <laughs> oh, this is the quick step one, I believe. Hey there. Whoa. Oh! I wasn't sure that was going to work on here. Hello. <laughs> Made it look like I was retreating, but really I was going for him the whole time. Hey, man. This is very fun. Hey, man, could you, could you stop with the skulls? Thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, that comboed on here. Oh, that's bad. Really awkward to dodge here. All right, we're going to have to resort to long range with him. Hey, man. All right, let's trade, shall we? It's it's our only choice. He's using too much spam. <laughs> I 
Do you enjoy long range, Dan? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not a fan of those skulls, though. You get the arrows. Infernal Boy. Ooh, I think I've invaded them before. I remember the name. Hey, guys. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, boy. I do love when people are on this bridge, though. Makes for a really fun fight. I think it's a team of three as well. Let's get our defense up. I definitely want the Endure dagger for this fight. Hmm. Hi there. Hey, wizard. I don't know how I feel about you. Come out here, wizard. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. I killed them, but oh my god, that jump scared the shit out of me. Hey, man. I've never been so jump scared. <laughs> Oh my god. I was zoomed in with a bow. I don't know why that scared me so bad. Into the hero's grave we go with Nezex. Alright, Nezex. You're apparently near me. Oh, I see. You're gonna come down here whether you want to or not. There we go. Second try, not so bad. Hey, man. Me and you, my friend. Oh. Oh. You have a teammate, right? Yep. And it's a millennia. It is, in fact, a millennia. Nice. <laughs> a Dexy millennia at that. Okay. Noted. I don't know our, like, uh, connection yet, so I'm going to avoid those jump attacks, like the plague. So I'm going to need you to stop that. <laughs> poke. That's right, pokes are there for life. My pokes. What other poke attacks can we do? Let's get this going here. Do you know what? I wonder if you could storm stomp millennia. I'm kind of intrigued. I've never tried that as a counter. Just in case he happens to do it, like when I'm doing something like this. Let's go. Yep. Okay. Noted. Easy out switch. Perfect. Roll catch. He didn't even go for the roll catch. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry, man. It is what it is. Whee! Bonk. Well, that was unfortunate. Nice. We just get the full here. Thank you, man. Now we have the counter to your attack. But also, I just can do that through it as well. So there's that. Boink. 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 <laughs> do it. <laughs> I wonder if you realize that I can do that every time yet. Ooh. Goodbye, sir. Good to know, though. There's like a team using that. Maybe pull out a storm stomp. Could be useful. Alright, we've invaded Chef Shroom, and we're definitely in a hero's grave. I do hear the chariots. Yep, above me. I could have sworn I just seen movement up there. I may go for a better spawn if this doesn't get me close to them. Oh, I see them! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it is awesome, but I do want to troll as well. Hang on. He's gonna. I'm gonna block his vision with a chariot, and we're gonna do this. <laughs> You must always be ready, hosty. <laughs> Especially if you're doing an emote waiting for someone. <laughs> Sage's Cave. Alright, Karma. I don't even know what I'm jumping into. We get our handy dandy lantern going. Hi, guys. How are you? You guys definitely got a lot ahead of me here. Oh, hi there. Hmm. How's it going, boys? Maybe we want the flaming strike, to be honest. Hey there. Whee! Poke into this. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want that. The chase down master. 
Eyes of shrimp. I'm coming, man. Am I getting fog walled, maybe? I think I am. Whoa. 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 But first, we clear the teammate. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's it going? A hunter summoned. Nice. <laughs> well, this could be funny. Oh, my God. Hang on. Do they not see me? One second. This could be hilarious. Oh, no. Get back on that ledge. <laughs> oh, I didn't get him off. No. Oh, it's disappointing. What the heck is going on here? Oh, I accidentally swapped my dagger earlier. Hi, guys. How's it going? Excuse me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is the Storm Stomp one. <laughs> the only downside to having multiple claimers. You never really know which one you're holding unless you look at your Ash of War on the side. Alright, I'm ready, boys, if you are. I know one of you has a Moon Veil, right? And the other one has... Well, they're both Katana builds. Oh, oh. oh I thought they would at least trade. Unfortunately, did not. Whee! So, yes, the Moon Veil is the scary part here. Do they both have it? No. One is the Honest Unsheath. One is the OP. Um, who in the blue? Oh my god, a blue. Oh my god. I had no idea a blue existed. That is so dangerous. Hey, blue. <laughs> I saw the, the summon thing, I guess. I just didn't pay attention. Okay, let's watch behind us. The blue's throwing knives. Okay. All right, let's go about this. Mimi Twerkudo? Hey, man. How's it going? Bleed build. Okay, that kind of definitely pairs so well with your host and phantom there. You guys are all bleed builds. Bonk. Ooh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Ooh. Maybe this. No, it's not gonna work. Latency like that is very hard for me to roll catch, but we can maybe combo. You no, know, a frostbite could be good. Could be a good choice on the colossal. Do this to keep our attack buff up, though. Hi hey guys. This enhances the damage on arrows as well. I think he thinks I want the bubble. I don't want the bubble. <laughs> there goes one. <laughs> I don't really want the dragon to attack, to be honest. Whee! He's seeming angry, though. Oh god, he took that hit so late. There goes the blue. <laughs> Alright, just me and Jose? I think so, yeah? Probably not gonna roll catch him, nope. Alright, Jose. We're gonna go for some roll catches on you, maybe with this. Hyper- oh, I thought I could hyper armor trade that. One, two. Fun fight, man. Honestly. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with my pierce damage build and showcasing why I prefer it on pure physical setups. Once again, there's my stats on the right, just my basic strength build, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I used throughout the showcase, and of course all the different weapons that I used. And as always, if you guys have any weapons, builds, or themed videos you'd like to see showcased on the channel, always feel free to comment them below. I do appreciate all the input that you guys give. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.